What's up guys, this is Helder from Digimon World Gamer and today we're gonna talk about the Power Rangers Super 7 figures. That's right, that, there's a company making an Power Rangers figures that's not for Hasbro but they're working together with Hasbro of course. And you guys probably already know because it's not new, they've been making uh, some toys for the standard line but recently they, they announced toys for the Ultra line. It's a premium like uh, toy line with lots and lots of detail. The the, the normal line I, I that I saw for they making, I didn't think much of it because we are we already have the 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 Hasbro baseline and lighting collection. So no, some vintage alter, alternative toys from the same Mighty Morph era again. They're, they're not very much special. They're cool, they're, they're nice, but they're not special. They're just bud, budget uh, toys. But the Ultra Collection, that's another story. They, they went far out with lots of details, weapons. And let's talk about them because they're, they're cool and they're cool. I, when, I, when I saw these, I, I thought, man... They they were worth every penny. They they went far and above. The man, they they even better than the the lighting collection, in my opinion. They don't come with the special effects stuff, but they're awesome. So let's see. Here we have the. Let's start from the beginning, right? Right. So here we. Whoops. Here we have the Green Ranger, and boy, oh boy. Uh, this Green Ranger here looks fantastic. We can see the normal head sculpt, né? normal Tommy. We can see evil Tommy né? with with his uh, green bandana. And he wears a bandana like that on the show, on the episode he, he becomes evil. Uh, we have two types of shields. And, and, and that's great because we have a screen accurate shield the same way that it was on the on the series on the episode he appears we have toy accurate shield <laughs> we have the the to the shield that appears on the toy the first bandai toy so we have two options for shields the the toy shield and the screen accurate shield and also we have those um bracelets i don't know the name of it but uh, I guess they're bracelets, they're arm bracelets, which are screen accurate, but they didn't appear in the toys back then. So we have two extra arms, one with the uh, screen accurate um, arm place, arm bracelets, I don't know, <laughs> and one without them. So yeah, man, to think about that, that, that much detail on a toy, we have... We have one that replicates the original toys, the old school Bandai toys, and we have these that <laughs> they're totally screen accurate. That that's awesome. Yeah. And that's not all, man. That's not all. We have a blaster that is screen accurate. No, no, we have a blaster that is toy accurate, old school toy accurate. We have the the green dagger, the dragon dagger that is toy accurate, old toy accurate. But we have another green dragger, dra green, green dagger that is screen accurate. That is exactly as we see in the show. Yeah? That's not something new for toys because if I'm if I'm not mistaken, the the SH Figure Arts uh, line had a screen accurate. Green Dagger, as well as some legacy toys from Bandai, but it is the first time we can see both toy version and screen accurate version because this because back in the day the, their their weapons were like this gray grayish uh, cheap uh, kind of looking toy. They were nice. <laughs> they didn't even have the hole where you you could put then <laughs> the the arm. The, the 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 weapons in the the, the rangers are hand the, you see the peg hole there they they go exactly on the rangers hand and it's very old school bandai toy accurate i don't know where this bazooka came from 
I don't know it's it it is appears on the show or it's something new. I don't I don't remember this this bazooka like this this the second blaster here. Maybe it's Jew Ranger stuff. I don't know. I don't remember exactly. As well, this second sword here. Né? The the black sword, the evil sword, of course I remember. Né? That's a that's an awesome sword that appears on the the, of the show but this black sword here i don't remember at all yeah. uh, if you guys know what it really where, where it's come from please tell me in the comments below but otherwise that this is fantastic it, come, it even comes with a morpher with a small morpher lots of hands some for posing some for holding uh weapons and man this is fantastic the price is gonna be a little bit uh expensive in my opinion especially here in brazil because everything here in brazil is expensive but man that is awesome let's see next we have goldar and goldar comes with his sword of course he got he got a sword he got an extra head one with the mouth open and the standard with the mouth closed he got this little uh yellow stuff here i don't know what what are these? Nah, I have no idea. What are these? Maybe mm, I don't know. <laughs> uh, we have five uh, star-like things. I don't know what are these. Nah. And we have this box where, the, where, which I guess he puts the ranger coins in here when he steal the coins from them. I guess. But it looks a fantastic Goldar toy. Awesome Goldar toy. Actually, I haven't seen many Goldar toys around the, from these whole years. I don't know if Bandai had lots of Goldar toys. But it's always nice when you release a Goldar toy. Because there, we don't have many Goldar toys. Then we have a Putty Patrol toy. And boy oh boy. Do they come with lots of accessories? We have the standard Putty Patrol, and we have the Lord said um, shirt, the ho Lord said over top here, so it becomes a uh, Lord said Putty Patrol. We also have some hats, hat and some necklace accessories. That is cool, now because. Probably there there might be some scenes on the on the show where they are disguised as as uh, disguised with the helmet. There's also a T-shirt. I don't remember exactly, but I guess there's in one episode where the Buddy Patrols are wearing T-shirts to imitate the f uh, football. I may be wrong, but. I think there's some episode they, they appear with the football shirts. Then we have the Tyrannosaurus. Man, this Tyrannosaurus is fantastic. It looks awesome. I personally prefer the, the Tyrannosaurus that transforms into the Megazord. This one doesn't transform, but it looks good. It looks very good, man. It looks fantastic. Very screen accurate, for sure. And also they have uh, a Tyrannosaurus coin, which is awesome. And it comes with a small figure of the Red Ranger summoning the, the, the Megazord. That is awesome. That is very awesome. Then we have the Yellow Ranger, which I guess is Wave 2. And Wave 2 is going to be available next year. Which is good, because... <laughs> Man, they, they they just released a lot of stuff all at once and I don't have money to buy them all. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, we have the Yellow Ranger with both Trini and Aisha heads. So, that's awesome. If you like Trini more, you can use tr the Trini head. If you like Aisha more, you can use the Aisha head. But I personally like Trini more because she was the, the first. Yeah. And... That's something cool I found here because they they even have this little uh, toy with her, né? and that toy is from an episode where she she had a toy, his 
this little goblin toy and that goblin toy becomes a monster itself it Rita transforms it in, into a monster so I, I remember that episode it was one of the I guess it was the very first that Trini has some some spotlight for herself alone um, uh, these yellow flowers probably are from some other episode I don't remember exactly but it makes sense yellow flowers for the yellow ranger and again we have toy accurate weapons the blaster and the the tiger dagger and we have screen accurate toys uh, weapons like the the blaster that, that can transform in both blaster mode mode and sword mode which I guess they never used that sword mode on the show I might be wrong I don't remember seeing this the blaster as a sword yeah. uh, I remember the blaster itself but the blaster as a sword I don't remember yeah. and it has three modes three mode three blaster one one three blaster swords slash stuff we have the the blaster mode the the mode that you can put on the the holster and the sword mode man this is awesome three versions of the same weapon you can choose which one you like we also have the crystal over there with the crystal where the where they used to to sum the power coins the, on the very first episode they, they, they summoned the megazord with the crystals the very first episode they used that and they never appeared again but it's something awesome to include here then we have the pink ranger which boy oh boy I thought they would release the green the the blue ranger or maybe the red ranger first but no they released the pink ranger first they didn't release the red ranger the blue ranger or even the black ranger they released the the yellow and the pink ranger first at least they showed us the the photos we don't know if they're gonna release it first because it's gonna be available only next year but boy oh boy here we have not just Kimberly, but we also have Catherine here. We have the cat that Catherine transforms into, which is which is awesome. I, I like that episode where she transformed into a cat. Also, she she appears as a cat. We seen Catherine first as the cat, the evil cat, and then we have this whip, this uh, pink whip. Which I guess uh, is the same whip that Kimberly used for gymnastic uh, when she is training for gymnastics. We also have the blaster, three versions of the blaster. Uh, one toy accurate blaster, one in-screen accurate blaster, the pink crystal, the morpher. We have even an arrow for the, the power bow two versions of the power bowl one verse with the string and one verse without the string and then an error it, i may be wrong but it's only it is only the second time there's an error for for the bow every time there's a pink ranger toy uh, she doesn't come with an arrow just with the bow and i guess this is the the second time they give us an error for the for the bow I guess the first time was with the legacy toys Bandai legacy toys or maybe the lighting collection but hey here we have some Bandai toys here some some Bandai toys some 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 new stuff that Bandai didn't gave us back back in the day that's awesome hey oh here we have the Red Ranger here the Red Ranger is here we don't have which is still very curious they released the the yellow and the pink ranger but didn't release the blue and the black ranger that's weird uh, as expected the the red ranger comes with both rocky and jason yeah i had some pro i had some time uh, differentiating both because it's been a while since i watched the show but the the first one is rocky and the second is jason and we have here both both in screen and toy accurate blasters. We also have the green dagger 
the dragon dagger and the dragon shield and dragon shield arms that is awesome that is very cool the red crystal the the morpher two versions of the sword one toy accurate one in-screen accurate awesome that is awesome very awesome but here we have rita repulsa we don't have many toys from rita repulsa i guess there is one on super samurai line and one with the legacy line and that's it we don't have many rita repulsa toys but here we have a rita repulsa toy that is awesome it comes with the the magic one the crazy telescope she used to expy earth <laughs> the evil candle the it's very awesome this evil candle here we have uh something different that i never expect to see uh rita without her crazy hat at first when i was a little kid i thought this was her, actually her hair but that but it's actually some hat and we have a uh her face without the hat which is crazy. I never thought that would be possible. And also we have there some green crystal. <laughs> the love potion. And some wine. Which is... Yeah, wine. <laughs> that is very awesome. I never thought I would see a Rita Repulsa toy without the hat. That is something new. And also those crazy... Um, as a service, the telescope, the candle. That is awesome. That is very awesome. And here we have King Sphinx. Very detailed King Sphinx. Much more detail detailed than the, the Lighting Collection version. That is very cool. Nice King Sphinx. And then we have the Dragon Zord. Boy, oh boy. It's a fantastic Dragon Zord. It even has the the hands shooting missiles missiles it is awesome it's very well done and i think this is the last one yeah it is so it is a very awesome line of toys i don't know if they're gonna be sold here in brazil but it, uh, you guys can probably pick up on on ebay and the local stores there it, it's gonna be an awesome Toy line, I really like it. I, I I really thought they they went far out on this premium collection, this ultra collection, because the normal collection they made was so so. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't that much special. Even though the package of the the toys were awesome, yeah. and that's it. That's that's all we have to say about this ultra collection. I wish I could buy it and make a review, but I don't know. <laughs> if I'm able to do that. So thanks for watching and until next time.